What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Dr. Ratio's best light cones. We have an actual tier list prepared. Um, we're also going to go into the analysis of the details of his signature light cone and whether you should pull for that or not. I can't actually tell you that because I don't know your budget. I don't know what you have on your account, but I'm at least gonna give you my thoughts and try to you know, uh, go over the scenarios and the nuances of di you know, different people. Uh, anyways, we're not gonna waste too much time with this intro. Let's go ahead and start off with um, analyzing his signature light comb first, and then we'll go into the tier list second. Okay, so Dr. Ratio's signature light comb. Brother in the bathtub, I can already imagine the amount of simps on the internet. Uh, oh, I drink his bath water. Yeah, you know, they'd be, they be out here wilding, bro. They be saying some out of pocket stuff sometimes. And again, no, can't blame him. Good looking human being. Brother looks like Sinbad's cousin, like I said. All right, let's get into it. 952 health is actually a little bit low for a five-star light, no, uh, light cone, especially considering the signature. Um, but it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal because he has the highest base defense signature light cone out of all the hunt path light cones in the game by far it's it this is a massive amount of base defense i'm like what the hell so he's going to be a little bit more beefy i guess um 582 attack is pretty standard signature light cone attack damage increase it's a little bit higher than the majority of the light cones but the other signature light cones have the same in fact let's just go ahead and fact check myself on these base stats before we go any further uh, we'll pull up the light cone tier list. We'll go to hunt path characters. Let's just look at this one. And this, all of Herta's light cones have a, a little bit higher base stat threshold than gotcha light cones. So this one is actually very impressive for a um, for free light cone, completely free, right? 529, but as you can see, it's still lower than the base stat of the signature light cone I just showed you. Even the defense, this is actually great base stat defense but Dr. Ratios is over 500 and it's like 529, which is insane. So that's huge, but the HP is the same, right? And then we come over here and let's just look at all three of these five-star premium light cones. Same exact attack, much less defense more hp though right so that kind of kind of balances out a little bit but i'd rather have more defense than hp i'll be honest um and then this light cone right here 1058 582 463 again much less defense same attack a little bit more hp and finally we have topaz's light cone 1058 582 463 um so they all have pretty much the same exact stats ratio for whatever reason has a higher defensive threshold but his base stats look look uh phenomenal um everything else with regards to the gotcha light cones yeah, less attack, way less defense, same HP. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, moving on, let's get into the, uh, you know, the good stuff, the good details. Increase the wearer's crit damage by 20%, free 99, no conditions at all, just gives it to you. Uh, so that's universal so far for all hunt path characters. For every debuff on the enemy target, the wearer's crit damage dealt against the target increases by 8%, stacking up to three times. So essentially, you get 24% increase in crit damage on top of the 20% crit damage, right? So we got 44% crit damage. You just need to have three debuffs on their head. Again, this is still universal to all hunt path characters because you have Silver Wolf on the team or Gwen Ifen or uh, or Welt or Appella they can all put those debuffs on that enemy's head so every single hunt path character can use this 44% increase in crit damage without even going any further that's huge because the free potentially free actually it is free the free five star light cone with Yang Xing on him on the picture only gives you 30% crit damage this gives you 44 so long as they have three debuffs that's a huge enticing uh description for me so far uh, when using their ultimate to attack the enemy target, uh, the wearer receives the disputation effect, which increases damage dealt by 36%. Okay, so let's pause right here again. Any hunt path character that actually deals damage with their ultimate is going to receive 36% increase in damage bonus plus 44% crit damage up there uh, based off of what I just explained to you. This does not work with Topaz though, because Topaz's ult doesn't deal damage, it buffs. So you have to take that in mind. Oh, I can use it on my Topaz. Well, that 36 is not gonna apply to her because her ult does not deal damage, it just buffs. Um, so those are things worth considering, but still, this is this is actually, this light cone is looking like Sila's light cone level of value. In fact, it's looking higher than Sila's light cone level value because Sila's light cone has some niche little categories in it. This is actually a really damn good hunt path light cone, guys. It just, it, it's looking good. 
And then now we have a niche little uh, situation down here that will only pertain to follow up units. Uh, so going back to what I said, the wearer receives a disputation effect after they use the ultimate to attack the enemy and it increases the damage dealt by 36% and then enables their follow up attacks to ignore 24% of the target's defense. Uh, unfortunately, Topaz won't take advantage of this. I could be wrong. There's a chance I could be wrong and this shit will still activate for Topaz, but I highly doubt it because that would defeat the purpose of Topaz having her own light cone, right? So I don't think it's going to work for her, but there's a there's a 1% chance I could be wrong on that. Anyways, this effect lasts for two turns. That's the only real kind of a negative for me right because you have to ult with dr ratio he's the kind of character where his energy is 140 and you can't get his ult up using one skill you have to use two skills so it's like you're not going to get that effect um off rip unless you have ting yun on your party battering him up you're not going to get that effect off rip furthermore it only lasts for two turns so you got to make use of that that second part but I, the two turn is fair because if you just took that away my god this light cone would actually be the first light cone in the game to compete with jing yuen's light cone brokenness uh, in fact i think it's it is competing it might be better than jing yuen's light cone in terms of just sheer stats this shit is crazy bro 36 percent damage bonus ignore their defense 44 percent crit damage what the hell right this is mad. i'll and i'll put it this way and then we're gonna get to the tier list if you are a free to play character, we're gonna give a couple of scenarios. If you're a free to play character or a player and you don't have two DPS built up, because I have a free to play account right now. Right now, I have one team built, the other team I'm still working on. Dr. Ratio is gonna be that other team. It's not actually a bad investment if you go for this light cone. It's not because now you will, you'll actually have two reliable teams. One of them, Dr. Ratio with this broken ass light cone. He's, this light cone, if I had to say off the top of my head, is about a 20% damage increase from every other light cone in the game, except uh, with the exception of Topaz's light cone, which is actually good on him. Um, but this is a very good light cone for Dr. Ratio. It's not to sell you, I'm just telling you the truth. If you're free to play and you don't have your DPSs and Dr. Ratio is about to be your second DPS, I, I don't, I genuinely don't think it's a bad uh, investment for this light cone. This is the only exception. Usually I say, hey, you don't need them light cones. This is a damn good light cone. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It's better than every other light cone by a mile. Um, so I wouldn't blame you for that. With that being said, a free to play healthy light cone, will, I'll explain that to you when we get into the tier list good ass option i'm personally i'm not gonna cap i'm gonna pick this up for my doctor ratio does he need it no nobody needs anything but it's so valuable i'm gonna pick it up okay now let's move on to my tier list i've already assorted it for you guys all right here we go okay so let's get into it i'm going to prescribe it to you like a doctor all right i always do that um every single light cone down here is utter garbage i don't care what anybody else tells you these light cones down here are utter garbage for my boy dr ratio that's it i'm not gonna even go into the details this one right here though is i i, I am gonna go into detail this is the worst light cone in the entirety of the game this is the only one i'm gonna go into the details of why john why why is this the worst uh light cone in the entirety of the game let's go ahead and click on this shit i want to show you this so you get at at s this is a gotcha light cone i want you to keep that into consideration god damn it i keep having to move my uh, shit that's okay we'll move right here at S5, you get a 32% attack increase, and then you get a 24% crit rate boost if there are two or fewer enemies on the field. So there's a condition to the crit rate, and then you get a 32% attack boost. There is, this is a gotcha light cone, all right? So you're not you're just gonna get this easily. There is a completely free light cone in the Hertz shop that you get S5 for completely free. And let's look at the stats that it gives you guys. Look at the stats that it gives you. It gives you up to a 32% crit rate with 16% of that being non-conditional. The other condition is just drop below 50% health, free 32, overkill on crit rate. And then you get a 40% attack increase after killing an enemy, which is higher than that gotcha light cone at S5 and even more higher on the crit rate with better base stats, completely free. That is why I claim that this light cone is the worst light cone in the game. Like what the hell? Just a speck of dirt. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that, man. Let's move on. Uh, here's Dr. Ratio's light cone. And then here's Topaz's light cone. Topaz's light cone off the top of my head. Do not take me literal. I would say Topaz's light cone is maybe a seven to 8% less value than Dr. Ratio's light cone on Dr. Ratio. 
Erlite Cone's very good for him. It's actually, it can be utilized on Topaz or him. It's just not as good. He might have a 10% increase in damage. It's possible. Like in deficit and performance, he might. But Topaz's Light Cone, I keep having to go back and forth. If we come over here, let's click on this bad boy. First of all, you get a crit rate increase, which I'll admit for Dr. Ratio, crit rate isn't the best because of his kit. We'll go into those details as well. Um, but that crit rate is still huge. You're pretty much going to have a hundred percent, very close to a hundred percent crit chance on a decently built Dr. Ratio with a crit damage body. If you rock this, whereas with his light cone, you're probably closer to 80 to 85% decently built. Um, then you get another 30% damage bonus to your follow-up attack. His follow-up attack is the bread and butter of all his, his damage, Dr. Ratio. So this is full-blown applicable to Dr. Ratio. Then after where he uses a follow-up attack, you get two stacks of using follow-up attacks that give your entire team 24% increase in damage. When allies hit enemy targets under the tame state, every tame stack increases the crit damage by 12%. So your whole party gets a 24% increase in crit damage, not just the unit wearing it. Furthermore, all of this is applicable to Dr. Ratio. So you could, if you have Topaz's Light Cone and you're trying to consider whether you should pull for Dr. Ratio's Light Cone, unless you're using topaz and him on the same team i would say just use topaz's light cone on him otherwise um yeah it, this this is just good enough you know what i mean you don't need his light cone so i wanted to mention that for the person who might be considering that option it's worth considering but i will say her light cone is very good for him uh now i'm a person who's going to run topaz and dr ratio on the same team so I don't have Topaz's like home, but if I did, I think I still would pick up Dr. Ratio just because that team sounds insane with these signature light cones. Uh, I know I'm, I'm kind of like pushing the pay to win agenda right here, but it's it's honestly just because Dr. Ratio is already going to be free. So it's like you have more resources available to go for a signature if you want. That said, moving on, the next best option is going to be a notch under in performance to the options I just presented you. And that's going to be the S5. Uh, Y'all know I said I'm a raving fan of this uh, light cone. Sue Shank's picture on it. It's very very good the only downside is every time you switch targets the buff starts over and that attack doesn't get the value which sucks and that is a negative but that said it's still a fantastic option and if you have it at s5 and you can't afford dr ratio signature light card you're fine man you just use that you're okay it is definitely a great performer um now the good options I honestly think uh Sila's light cone is booty cheeks on him I would not use it I just put it up there because its stats are still somewhat good and usable right they're usable i think she's more of a man option but then again you know you could use it if you have it that said i think you would just i would just tell you to use this right here i do like this light cone because of the 30 percent crit damage increase but the 36 percent crit rate condition on it is just so garbage it, it is it's it's so garbage or especially for Dr. Ratio, who doesn't really need crit rate he, he'll take it right it's icing on the cake type stat for him so i like this one but nah i'll be honest i just use the free to play light cone man but these are these are my thoughts like that that's that's pretty much as accurate as it's going to get with regards to building his light cones for him uh comment down below let me let me know you guys thoughts uh we got you know me when a character comes out i'll make four goddamn videos off of them touching different topics and we're gonna do that we got more shit to talk about with dr ratio stay tuned peace love and happiness i'll catch you guys on the flip side